Good day to everyone and once again ladies and gentlemen welcome for another video presentation with regards to question document examination and identification. So now we are going to have here the topic on uh, Philippine Peso Bill, examination of Philippine Peso Bill. Okay, so in here we have the old currency series that we have. So this is actually not uh, being uh, released as well as not being uh, used nowadays okay, here in our country. So uh, this is the old currency series. For now, we have here the new generation okay, currency series. So this was uh, 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 provided okay, by the Banco Central ng Pilipinas in the year 2010 up to this uh, time. Okay, and we are using this. Or this is the one that we are using. Okay, or the currency that we are using right now. Okay, and we have here, uh, let us try to have them. Uh, let us try to familiarize the security features of this, uh, of our currencies as well as for us to determine also some of the signs or some of the things we need to know about those fake currencies. Okay, So let us try to have here also uh, the uh, let us familiarize also ourselves with the BSP coin series okay? or the old one. Okay, the old that we are using. I mean, uh, they had that we used. Okay, but still, it is still uh, being granted or uh, honored. Okay, by uh, different uh, uh, <clears throat> agencies or different businesses. Okay, that we have here, or we still uh, have this. We are using. Okay, but we have here the new generation currency, still on coin series. We have here now. Okay, we have uh, the twenty pesos coin this time okay and that is for the coin series that we have <clears throat> next let us try to examine okay our uh, our or the security features of our currency okay so as to the paper it is made up okay itong gen yung genuine po okay yung original or genuine currency na meron tayo, it is made up of a special kind of paper. Okay? If you are going to touch that, okay, it is rough. So, pag yan ay soft, then you will uh, have, or you can say that that is already a fake money or a fake currency. Okay? And there is the presence of watermark or security fibers as well as it is incorporated during its manufacture. Okay? Hindi yung time na ito ay, uh, I mean, hindi ito or halatado kasi yung ano halatado okay yung watermark or security fibers na pinrint lang okay or uh, din drawing kumbaga or in bed lang doon sa ano pinrint okay doon sa papel right so anyway one of its feature or those are the origin those are some of the things that you can consider when it comes to genuity of the paper used in the in our currency so kapag counterfeited yan Ordinary paper, pakiramdaman ninyo ang isang band paper. If you are holding a band paper there, try to touch it. Okay? And you can observe it is soft. It's not rough. Okay? So anyway, those are the basic uh, things you need to know about the construction of the paper of our currency. Okay? So again, uh, or another thing also that you are going to consider if you are going to have here, applying the ultraviolet light rays, you can see this is and uh, this is actually a fake okay uh, money okay or fake 1000 peso bill bakit wala kayong makikitang uh, fibers wala tayong uh, makikita na presence of fibers and as well as to the uh, the watermark okay we cannot see okay the security fibers and as well as the watermark in here is not we cannot identify it okay however when we are going to have here the original you can see the red and blue colored okay uh, it seems lines in here we are referring to them as the security fibers so by applying okay you are going to use uv light you can observe those security fibers present on the paper okay so another thing uh, you are going to look here which is fake in here okay so kung mapapansin ninyo dito sa part na ito okay uh, we can say that it is original, okay? As you can, as you can see, okay? Uh, in here, tignan natin dito sa my part, 
kung saan meron tayo yung invisible portrait in here. We can uh, still see it, but in here it's very dark. So parang pinrint lang yung ating uh, currency in here. As to the as to the eyes on the portrait, parang ano siya, okay? Hindi siya lively or hindi siya buhay, okay? And as to the others, or uh, we have here the uh, another security feature, we are going to have it here as we move on to the next slides, on our next slides, okay? So anyway, this is the original one in here and this is the fake one in here, okay? So as to the watermark, okay? So, saan ba natin makikita yung watermark? Okay, so makikita natin yung watermark on the unprinted portion of the note. Okay, so meron tayong makikita doon, okay, na portrait. Noong uh, portrait, okay, uh, on the face of the note, okay, or sa front portion. So, yun, as you can see in here, okay, this is where we can find the watermark. Okay, so you can see, meron tayo dapat makikita dyan na portrait. Okay, katulad dito sa 500 peso bill, as you can see in here, okay, pag nilapit po natin or uh, titignan natin ng maigi, okay, in an angle, we can see the portrait, invisible portrait on the watermark. Okay, so with that, that is uh, a thing that we can say that that is a uh, genuine currency. Okay? Shadow effects are discernible when uh, viewed with the aid of transmitted line. We can see it in the shadow effects. Relief of the features can be felt by running the fingers on the design or we can feel the portrait or the uh, <clears throat> ST uh, on the watermark we can feel it okay or we can feel the features on it or the what the portrait on it okay and as to counter uh, I mean counterfeit okay imitation of the portrait is finished okay or done on the finished paper right so halata do yung okay kung mapapansin ninyo ito yung fake yan okay kung mapapansin ninyo hindi maganda yung pagkakagawa. Or mapapansin nyo, parang pinrint lang. So, ma parang naprint lang yan or parang na Xerox. So, ang, ang uh, dahilan yan, hindi yan nagawa or hindi yan na-imprinted during its manufacture of the paper. Okay? Kung mapapansin nyo, ano yan, parang Xerox or parang uh, parang pinrint. Okay? So, pag i uh, pag i pagtitignan natin, Okay, or in different angle, hindi, na, hindi yan nagiging invisible. Okay, parang uh, consistent, wala siyang ano, walang, uh, walang changes man lang. Okay, uh, in every angle. So, yan, that is a sign that it is a fake currency. Okay, so another one, wax or other oily medium is stamped to give transparency to the person where the design appears. So, this is their technique in order for them to hide or for them to give a transparency transparency effect okay so anyway those are the signs on the uh, signs that you can observe on the watermark of the currency so security fibers nabanggit natin kanina the colors that you're going to observe there is red and blue fibers okay scattered at random on both surfaces okay so hindi po fix yung kanyang pagkaka distribute so can be picked up by other means of a point uh, any pointed instrument pwede pa na Pwede pa nating matanggal yan and it is also luminous or it can reflect or it can create uh, the color or ma magiging, uh, makikita natin the red and blue fiber fibers okay? or colored fibers okay? with the use of ultraviolet light. Okay? And uh, as to counterfeit, okay? simulated by printed lines that cannot be picked off kaya kasi yan ay uh, printed yan okay? or yan ay hindi, hindi yan ano hindi yan na, na manufacture, okay? Uh, during the, I mean, hindi yan na ilagay, okay? During its manufacture of the paper, okay? During the manufacture of the paper, okay? So, yun, but it can be, I mean, but can be easily erased, okay? With ordinary rubber, okay? So, that is for the counterfeit, okay? Sometimes fibers are pasted on the surface that can be removed by agitating the fiber or pwede nating matanggal yan through, yun, if not, not through the use of rubber, okay? uh, if you are going to agitate that or you are going to rub it with uh, other surfaces, then uh, the fibers can be removed or can be erased. So as you can see, this is what is look, uh, what does it looks like, okay? the security fibers. We have here the red and blue colored security fibers. 
So on the portrait also take note that it should be okay for us to say that it is a genuine okay, it appears lifelike okay buhay na buhay yung ating image or yung portrait okay the eyes is sparkle hindi napaka hindi nakapikit okay uh, or hindi uh, parang uh, uh, itim na itim yung kulay ng kanyang mata okay shadings are formed by uh, fine lines that give a characteristic facial expression which is extremely difficult to replicate okay so there's a facial expression that is being shown that's why it, it appears like i mean it appears lifelike or buhay na buhay yung ating image or portrait as to counterfeit kabaliktaran okay so appears dead dull smudgy poorly printed okay eyes do not sparkle okay? and the concentric lines depending the eyes often merge into solid printed areas okay? the hair strands are not discernible or we cannot see okay? as you can i mean we cannot uh, see it it is separated uh, in that way so as you can see, saan po kaya dito ang ating uh, original at saan dito yung fake currency natin. Okay? So as you can see, uh, tignan po natin itong currency na ito. Parang uh, yung mga po, yung portrait natin, they look like a okay, dead. Okay? Poorly print, printed as you can see in here. Okay? And as you observe, itim na itim yung mata. It's not a uh, sparkle. Unlike in here, meron pa yung white okay, or parang uh, yung uh, mata nila is buhay na buhay okay, sa portrait natin and you can see the hair or uh, you can uh, see clearly the hair as well and of course you can see it at i mean uh, it appears lifelike okay or buhay na buhay yung ating portrait okay so that is for the portrait part Next, on the serial number, okay, prefix numbers, okay, normally six digits naman talaga ang ating uh, serial number. So, ito yung, uh, kung, uh, I don't know if some of you experience okay, uh, doing such as uh, making this, okay, as uh, one, okay, uh, or ginagawa as gambling, okay, uh, yung serial number, okay. So anyway, uh, we are referring to it as serial numbers, yung, anim na, yung six digits na nakaprint dyan, okay, sa ating currency. So it has a peculiar peculiar style, okay, and alignment is even, and ink use is special that fluoresces, fluoresces under the ultraviolet light. So pag gayan ay uh, pinailawan or bi, uh, pinailawan natin, nagkakaroon uh, ng uh, colorful, okay, nag-change ng kulay. Ganun din, if you are going to have it in different angle, we can observe that the chain, I mean, the color of it is changing. Okay, so that is for the characteristics of a genuine, I mean, uh, characteristics of the serial number in a genuine currency. However, in counterfeit letters and numbers are poorly printed, usually in different style. Okay, not evenly spaced. Okay, and poorly aligned, and there is inconsistency or the in proportion. So iba iba, may malaki, may maliit, may ma. Tipis, and no reaction under ultraviolet light. Okay? So, that is a sign of a counterfeited serial number uh, characteristic of a, I mean, a, in a, I mean a serial number. Okay? Uh, if you are going to consider the serial number. So, the serial numbers, it is in ascending manner, as you can see in here. And it is composed of six digit, okay? And with letters, okay? Two letters. So, anyway... Uh, that is for serial numbers. Okay. So, background and lace design. So, take note that the lace design or the background design is okay, multicolored okay, and composed of sharp lines. Puyan. Okay. Continuous traceable. So, it is a crisscrossing lines which are continuous and traceable. Even joints. Even the joints. Okay. And uh, as to counterfeit, uh, blurred po yung background nila or blotch on the intersection. So, ano ba talaga yung tinutukoy natin na background or lace design? So, as you can see, it is a web-like structure dito sa kanilang, ito yung background nila. So, as you can see, this is a this is a, a an original or genuine currency. Okay? So, observable po yung ating uh, lace design in here or the background of the currency. Okay? So, we can see, I mean, we can say that it is an original okay, or genuine currency. As to color, okay, so have a polychrome background with one predominant color for each denomination. So with that, meron tayo as to standard, okay, 1,000 peso, uh, blue color, 500 peso, yellow, and then 200 peso, build green, 
50 pesos red, 20 pesos po ay orange, at saka 10 pesos. 100 peso is violet or we have here that, I mean, uh, we are having here as mauve. Okay, or uh, to be specific, uh, we have here the color violet uh, on the new generation. Okay, uh, new series currency. Okay, violet. Okay, so I think uh, the one is, the mauve is on the old currency. Okay, but as of now, we are having it as a violet color currency. Okay, so as to counterfeit, irregular spattering on white spot. Okay, kasi nga parang printed siya. Okay, printed ang itsura kaya there's irregular spattering on it. Okay, and caused by non-registry of breaks okay, on the ground. So, ma counterfeit notes, lack of the vividness or uh, hindi klaro or hindi uh, parang hindi matingkad yung kulay. Okay nung uh, currency okay so that is a sign of a counterfeited currency so as to the color as we have said in here it is blue for 1000 peso bill uh, we have here yellow for 500 for 200 green for 100 violet and then we have here for uh, 50 we have here red and then we have here orange for 20 peso bill okay and uh, let us try to have here. Let us observe. Okay, so who is in the picture? I mean, uh, who is the portrait in here? We have here Manuel L. Quezon. Okay, and on the reverse part, we have here the Banawe Rice Terraces. Okay, and then we have here the uh, scientific name of this uh, animal that we have here, or we can find in the Cordilleran region. We have here the Palm Civet. Okay, so we have here also the Cordilleran weave design in here. So with that, that is for the reverse part. And then for the face part or the front part, okay, take note, uh, Manuel L. Quezon. And as well as we have here the Malacanang Palace background image. Okay, and color is orange. We have here also on the 50 peso bill, we have here uh, on the portrait, Sergio Osmeña. Okay, and of course, we have here the late landing of MacArthur. Okay, and on the reverse part or on the... Uh, uh, back portion we have here the Taal Lake okay, in Batangas and we have here the scientific name of the uh, of the animal that we have in here the giant trevally okay so as to the scientific name we have in here and we call it in uh, local as Maliputo okay so Maliputo and yan po ay nandyan sa likod ng 50 peso bill natin. Okay? And Batangas embroidery design naman yung meron dito. Okay? So, the color is red. And we have here also for 100 peso bill, okay, for the front portion or the first portion, we have here Manuel A. Rojas. Okay? Manuel A. Rojas and the building in here is the old BSP building in Intramuros. Okay? And inauguration of the third public, uh, Philippine Republic in here. Okay, and we have here on the back portion or the verse portion, we have here the Mayon Volcano in Albay. And what is the animal that we have here? The whale shark or it has a scientific name, Rincondon Typhus. And be called textile design naman yung meron tayo dito. Okay, so that is, the color is violet as I have mentioned a while ago. Okay, next in here is the 200 peso bill. So as to 200 peso bill, we have here Justado or President uh, Justado P. Makapagal. Okay? And we have here the Edsa People Power 2001 in here. And uh, Aguinaldo Shrine Cavite. Okay? I should say in here. Okay, the people uh, People's Power in here. And this is on the uh, Aguinaldo Shrine okay? in Kahawit. And we have here also okay? Barawi San. Church in Malolos, Bulacan. Okay, you can see that on the background of the background of the uh, currency. And on the reverse portion, we have here the chocolate hills in Bohol, and we have here the scientific name of this animal, Philippine tarsier. Okay, and Visayas we've designed naman po yung nandito tayo. I mean nandito sa part na ito. Okay, and the color is green. Next one in here is the 500 peso bill. We have here the Former President Corazon C. Aquino. And then, of course, Binigno is Aquino Jr. And we have here the EDSA People Power 1 on its background. And Binigno Aquino Monument on in here. Okay. And, and on the reverse part, 
We have here the subter uh, subterranean underground river in Puerto Princesa. And as to the animal, the blue naked parrot. Okay, and we have here its scientific name. Kindly take note of the scientific name also, the tanning. Tanignathus lysionensis. Okay, and that is for, uh, I mean, uh, this is, uh, uh, we have here the Southern Philippine Cloth Design. Okay, the one that is uh, uh, presented in here or included in here. Okay, and the color is yellow. And lastly, we have here the 1,000 peso bill. On the obverse version, we have here Jose Abad Santos on the uh, portrait. We have here Vicente Lim and as well as Josefa Elianes Escoda. Okay, in here. Okay, they are the ones who are uh, there in the obverse portion as, uh, as the portrait. And we have here on the reverse portion, we have here the two Bataha Reefs Park in Sulu Sea. Okay, and then we have here the South Sea Pearl, the animal, I mean, uh, the uh, thing, okay, uh, that we have in here. Okay? The living thing that we have in here is South Sea Pearl. Okay, and Mindanao designed for Tinalak, okay, or Ikat Dai Abaka. Naman po yung nandito tayo, nandito sa portion na ito. Okay, and the color is blue. So far, those are the color coding of the different currencies that we have. Okay, and we have here the optically variable device. This is an additional security feature that we can see on 500 and 1,000 peso bills. So this is for 500 pesos and then this is for uh, 1,000 pesos. This is the optically device or variable de device that is added okay, as a security Feature. So, kapag ito ay pinrint, ang itsura niyan is dark na dark, okay? Or, uh, uh, dark uh, colored lang siya. Pero if you are going to have here the original or the genuine, you can see uh, the color is changing or uh, it is, uh, uh, we can see different images inside of it, okay? Or on the optically de variable device. So, we have here also, uh, it says in here, uh, the color, okay? The color, okay, from red to green, okay. Uh, if you are going to rotate it on nine, uh, rotate it ninety degrees, you can observe that the color changes from red to green, okay. So as you can see here, there is the parrot, okay? and we have here the South Sea pearl on one thousand peso bill image, okay. So that is for optically variable device. We have here the other one, additional security feature that we have on the. 1,000 peso bills. So optically variable ink naman to or OVI. Okay, makikita lang natin to sa 1,000 peso bill or peso bill. Peso note. So if you are going to view it on a 45 degrees angle, this is how it looks like. Okay, so as you can see, uh, it is a white greenish color. Okay, but if you are going to view it from above okay, in a straight path, okay, uh, from above, okay, uh, you can see that the color is green, okay, or uh, uh, it is not a uh, light, okay, but you can observe that it is uh, um, <coughs> darker green, okay, if you are going to compare it in here, okay, so it is more vivid, the color green in here, okay, so yan, at the lower right corner, makikita to sa lower right corner, okay, yun ang face note natin, saan banda yun? If you're going to have the 1,000 peso bill, makikita natin dito banda. Okay? So, anyway, we have here the next one. Uh, take note that it changes from green to blue. Okay? At different or if viewed in different angles. So, as you can see, parang naging blue or uh, light green lang siya. Okay? Pero malapit na sa blue color or bluish color. Well, anyway, we have here the trademark. Okay? So, trademark, you can see it in here. Right? So, it has, I mean, uh, each uh, currency that we have, it has several or it has different trademarks. So, kung sa 50 pesos, it has two pairs of lines in here. Okay? And then, uh, for 100 pesos, it has four lines. I mean, uh, two pairs of lines in here. Okay? I mean, one pair of two lines in here. Or one pair of lines. And we have here two pairs, okay? Or four lines as a whole. Okay? And in here, six lines. So, that is for 200 pesos. So, the purpose of he this is for uh, blind individuals, okay? So, they can just feel this one. Uh, you can feel this as you touch, okay? You can feel this feature or the train mark. So, that is purposely or this can help blind individuals to know, okay, what currency are they 
holding. Okay? So, meron kasi na yung sa old currency, yung uh, code naman for blind uh, individuals on the upper portion. Pero pinalitan ng trademark na. Okay? So, anyway, we have here, I mean, that, that is for the trademark of, uh, I mean, that is for trademark. So, sa 800, I mean, sa 500, magiging ano na siya, additional two pairs. I mean, uh, additional pair of lines. And then, sa 1,000, madadagdagan na naman ng isa, bali, five pair of lines. Okay? So, that is for the trademark. And embedded security thread naman, usually makikita namin natin yan sa lower currencies or on in 50 pesos to be specific. So, as you can see, uh, we have here an embedded security thread. So, embedded siya, hindi siya kasi naka, ano, hindi siya nakaangat or hindi siya, uh, hindi siya, uh, sabihin natin na parang uh, siya ay naka, lagay mismo sa loob okay uh, kaya embedded uh, embedded by the word itself embedded okay so hindi siya naka embossed in other words okay so embedded security thread we can observe that or we can see that on 50 pesos currencies okay so retain its 2 millimeter wide embedded security thread and we have here windowed security thread naman we can observe that on 100 500 1000 and 200 Notes just like in here, we have here the windowed security thread. So, dito windowed kasi hindi siya in just a straight line. Okay, there is like a fragmentation in here. And uh, we can see that, that it, it is like a window na transparent. Meron tayong nakikitang image on it. Okay? Or portrait on it. Or uh, image. Okay? Uh, on the thread itself. So, we are calling it as windowed security thread. So, it is 4 millimeter wide. So, mas makapal siya kaysa dito sa windowed secure, I mean, embedded security thread na 2 millimeters lang. Pero dito, 4 millimeters yung wide niya. Okay? Uh, and this is adapted okay, for the 200 peso bill adapted on the indigenous textile design handicraft in Visayas. Okay? With 3D holographic features as described in here. Alright, so that is for the windowed security thread. Makikita lang natin ang mga yan sa 150 at saka 1,200 notes. Okay? So, as to the array descent band, ano siya? Ano to? Uh, meron sa present ito sa mga old currencies natin pero hindi na na ginagamit. So, as you can see, we have here the array descent band naman. Okay? A white glistering gold vertical stripe with numerical value printed series. As you can see, 1,000. Okay, the numerical value in here. So, that is for a redescent uh, band. Now, we have here the value panel. We are having it here, the value panel. Okay, the and, and this one in the 500 peso bill, it is enhanced value panel. Why? Because if you are going to have it in different angle, nagbabago po yung itchura or yung kulay niya. Okay? So, it changes the color. It changes or vary, varies. That's why... Uh, we say that it is an enhanced security feature of the value panel for 500 pesos. Okay? So anyway, the value panel that is uh, that assigns okay, how much or uh, the amount of the currency. Okay? And for the special uh, special pre uh, features, we have here fl fluorescent printing. Okay? Fluorescent printing, okay, there are hidden things. Okay? Or there are hidden, actually. Uh, there are hidden uh, amounts or uh, characters that we cannot see through our naked eye. Okay? So, if we are going to apply ultraviolet light, we can see, okay, or the amount or the number or those uh, those characters will reveal, okay? So, anyway, on this special, on that part, okay, we can so we can uh, see this. It is possible by uh, having ultraviolet light, okay? But uh, in here, in counterfeit, imitated by using yellow-orange ink, in, is visible even under normal conditions. So, yun. Kitang-kita natin yan through our naked eye even though we don't apply ultraviolet uh, rays okay, or light. Okay? So that is one special uh, feature again of a of our currency. As to microprints, okay, microprints for uh, original or for genuine, we can uh, read it. Okay? Clearly printed and readable just like these small uh, writings in here. So we can read them. Okay? We can read them clearly and uh, we can uh, understand it. It is readable. Okay? It is printed clear and understandable. Okay? But in counterfeited, microprints are not clear and fine and as a genuine, okay? not readable. Okay? So that is for the uh, counterfeited, uh, counterfeited feature of a currency. 
Okay, and we have here also latent image or concealed value. We can see that, uh, I mean, a recognizable when the note is held at the eye level. Okay, katulad na lang po ng ating uh, meron tayo dito. Okay, concealed value. Okay, and we have here the latent image. So we can see that on our, uh, if we are going to have the currency on uh, our eye level, but if we are going to have it on a different angle, we cannot recognize it easily. Okay, but if we are going to have it on our eye level, then we can see these uh, images or hidden image or latent, okay, or uh, invisible, kumbaga, or concealed image. And we have here the concealed value. Okay, so we have here also, okay, uh, uh, if the it is counterfeited, note usually contain this uh, fe feature or does not uh, usually contain this feature, right? That should uh, it be. Okay, and see through mark, we can uh, see that also, or we can, we have here additional uh, security features. So this is uh, what was the see through mark that we have in here, the pre-Hispanic script or yung bye bye. Okay, so yung bye bye na ito. Okay, ang ma ibig sabihin po niyan is yung or yung scripture na ito. It means Filipino. Okay, uh, as you can see in here, uh, we have here the see through mark. So on the first or on the front part, ito lang yung makikita niyo. Okay. On the back part, you can see its continuation in the reverse. If you are going to have it against the light, if you are going to have the paper, okay, you are going to observe it against the light, then you can see, okay, you can observe that it is a uh, ibaybayin, okay, or uh, scripture, okay, and then it means, or this means, uh, Filipino, okay. So if you want to have or view it in a complete, uh, the complete uh, form of it, then you are going to view it against the light. Okay, so that is the see-through mark, an additional feature of our money. Okay, so as to checking of our banknote, okay, and uh, especially on uh, 1,000 peso bill, it is very important for us to feel, look, as well as till. Okay, so what are we going to have in here? What we are going to feel, of course, the paper. We are going to embose, feel the embossed prints, just like in here. So mararamdaman po natin yung printings ng Republika ng Pilipinas dyan, as well as the security features, okay? Uh, I mean, security paper, rough dapat ang papel natin, okay? So, just like in here, embossed prints ng 1,000 or ding, ng value panel, okay? And as to the, as to what are we going to look on it, okay? Asymmetric uh, uh, structure or formation ng ating serial number, okay? And security fibers, we are going to look on that. And we can uh, also look on the security, I mean, see-through mark as well as the watermark as well okay and we are what are we going to tilt okay we are going to have here the concealed value okay uh, we are going to we can see that if we are going to have it okay, in different angles or let's try to have it discover it and uh, looking by looking it in different angle so that we can observe okay uh, if those features inside in of it or we can see features inside of it okay the concealed value the optically variable device patch okay and that is found, or we can see that on 500 or 1,000 peso bill, okay? As well as the security thread and the variable ink, okay? So, tignan natin kung nagbabago-bago yung kulay niya, okay? So, as to the new generation currency, meron tayong dalawa, actually. The new generation and then the enhanced generation, new generation currency. So, if you are going to take a look with the difference, okay? Mapapansin nyo sa mga pera nyo, uh, you try to compare your 1,000 peso bill. Magtataka kayo, yung iba, walang ano siya, wala siyang trademark. Pero yung iba, meron siyang trademark. Okay? So, yun lang naman yung mga isa sa naisama dun sa, ano, sa enhanced new generation currency. Additional security features niya. Okay? Or uh, additional features for, uh, for the blind individuals. So look, or I mean, feel the security paper in both prints as well as look on the watermark, security fiber, asymmetric uh, serial number, see-through marks in here. Okay, we have here the watermark in here and fibers. Okay, you can observe that closely. Okay, yung uh, red and blue colored uh, fibers. And you are going to tilt for you to see, observe the security thread, uh, concealed value, as well as uh, optically... Uh, Variable ink, okay, if it changes, okay, optically variable device patch in here, okay, 
so you are going to look i mean tilt on those for you to observe it more okay so that is for the new generation currency and as i mentioned a while ago additional features then yung ating enhanced uh, we have here the enhanced value panel okay as well as the uh, as well as the tactile marks okay tactile marks okay so i'm very sorry for that it's not trademark i should say so it is actually a tactile mark so this one uh ladies and gentlemen i would like to correct this one it's not a trademark actually uh it should be tactile okay oh sorry for that okay so it should be tactile marks okay so tactile marks so apologize for that i had a typographical error on this part so it should be tactile mark okay so i hope that is clear and uh, i mean i hope that is clear and uh, corrected okay so kindly correct that ladies and gentlemen okay the tactile mark is the additional feature on the enhanced new generation currency as well as the enhanced value panel in here i mean uh, this one it is the enhanced value panel i should say okay, it's not here because it is the optically variable ink that was applied in here okay so yon so as you can see dito hindi siya enhance so walang reaction okay or hindi nagbabago yung kulay na if you're going to uh, have it in different angle but hindi big sabihin po na yan ay peke okay so it is actually uh, still a new generation currency but it is not the enhanced one okay so that is for the enhanced new generation currency okay so overall ladies and gentlemen uh, don't forget uh, the one that i've corrected the tactile marks i'm very sorry for that so with that ladies and gentlemen uh, those are the things that i would like to share uh, for this time and i hope that you had learned something about our philippine uh, peso okay, or currency so thank you ladies and gentlemen for watching and till next time